like sharks. We like sharks. sharks. <laughs> You think you can fix me? Jean, you are not broken. Fox, in association with their new Lords and Masters, the Walt Disney Omni Consumer Consortium of Childhood Wonder and Property Consolidation, recently shoved a trailer for X Men, um, 10? 12? 17? Dark Phoenix, out the door. The re 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 retelling of the only story anyone in Hollywood seems to know from the X-Men. Of nearly 60 years of monthly publication. From a collective creative team of hundreds, but mostly Chris Claremont. Part 4 of the third trilogy in the Quadril Anthro Anthology. Quadril Anthology. Quadril Anthology is a very hard word to say. That is the X films. A statement that can only seem apt with the X Men franchise whose comics timeline and canon itself likewise shares common features with Barney's Bar Tab. Remember when I said I'd have to send away to NASA to calculate your bar tab? <laughs> oh yeah, we all had a good laugh, Mo. The results came back today. <clears throat> you owe me $70 billion. Huh? Uh, no, wait, 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 that's uh, for the Voyager spacecraft. Um, your tab's $14 billion. Dark Phoenix is the second to the last of Fox's kids, born during the turn of the century to strike out on their own and leave their parents' basement, freeing Fox up to finally take that vacation to Europe they always dreamed of. Starring the usual gang of ageless homo superiors, blessed with the power of an audience that, by nature of being fans of this particular brand of nonsense, long ago gave up their collective sense of disbelief and threw it from the highest tree Dark Phoenix picks up where Apocalypse left off, give or take a decade or two of filler, with Sansa Stark carrying around a primordial power of destruction and rebirth. And it hasn't gone without notice that every time this particular story rears its head in any kind of medium aside from its original publishing, it means the death of the current franchise it is a part of. When the franchise began in the before times, I thought it was manna from heaven. I was literally the first in line in my small town to buy a ticket. In a matinee premiere that was sparsely attended by seven other people. See, this was back in the day before they had midnight premieres of anything aside from the new Star Wars prequels. And everyone was pretty disappointed by those, so it wasn't likely going to become much of a thing. And in that tiny theater, we seven witnessed the birth of the future, the promise made by the success of Blade kept, as the floodgates were opened. And we've been drowning in it ever since. You think the world of half a dozen comic book movies a year is bad? Try the wasteland before the coming of our cinematic messiah. But by Mojo, I am exhausted with this fucking franchise. Now, typically, I eat, sleep, and breathe X-Men. This shit is ridiculously on point, especially the late 90s, early noughties, ecstatics, and new X-Men runs that help world build a more realistic consumer culture around the old yellow and blue ivy-covered and hallowed halls of the Charles Xavier School for Gifted Children and Explosions. And when the film is released in... I, of course, will watch, just as I have watched all of them, 
Yes, even you, X-Men Origins, colon, Wolverine, colon, this film still made back twice its budget and arguably played a necessary evil hand in the later creation of the series' most financially successful episode. But at this point, I just can't muster up the energy to even be fake interested for fun and profit. At this point, it's like Fox is trying to sell you the last generation model of the Zune, when every mobile provider and their dog is giving away phones with a cell contract. Yes, I am sure it is the best of all Zunes. Yes, I am sure it is the culmination of every lesson learned along the way, mastered and matured, refined with time and with great care. But it's still a fucking Zune. The only surprise this flick can offer to get audiences through the door, aside from the force of habit and inertia we are all stuck in, if they A, reveal an all new and all stabby Wolverine, or B, the end credits feature Robert Downey Jr. wandering through the background, munching on an ice cream cone, likely to the tune of half the production's budget. <laughs> Granted, I am happy to hear they are finally taking on the Shi'ar Empire. Better late than never, but it's like force feeding someone cake for two decades and then giving them a big old bowl of icing and going, oh hey, did you want this too? Bitch, I am full of cake. My family tried to trick me into celebrating Christmas. You know, we are meditating. Oh, sorry. Well, that's all right. I was only about to achieve enlightenment, but who'd want that? Who likes short shorts? I like short shorts. Those guys are way off. <laughs>